Welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband. Today, I have another food find video for you that may just help you beat the Vancouver summer heat. I find one of the best things to drink on a hot, sunny afternoon is a Coca-Cola with vanilla ice cream. Now, I know many people will imagine a typical float where you place a carbonated beverage inside a container and place one or two dollops of ice cream into the beverage. Forgive me for saying this, but I feel this is not the best way to make a float, even though it is, I admit, the typical way. Stay tuned and I will show you how I make a handy dandy husband float where the Coke, not the ice cream, floats. Let's begin. First what you'll need is some ice cream and uh, this ice cream is Vanilla Island Farms and it's the vanilla brand. You could use a different type of ice cream but of course uh, that's up to you and it's a four liter. I like it because it's bulk and you can use as much as you need for multiple beverages. I'll put this aside. You also need a beverage of your choice. I'm using Coca-Cola and of course uh, you won't need the full 355 milliliters, just a portion of it, but if you're, you're making this float for many people then of course you might be able to go through the full uh, can. I have uh, chilled this somewhat you need a regular butter knife and of course an ice cream scoop and finally a glass and it should be fairly long not sm unless you want half the uh, size um, this should be the um, approximate size that you're waiting for and let's begin so first you fill it up to about three quarters of the size of the container and you don't want to press the ice cream into uh, hard. And you see how there is space in between the ice cream and it's not compacted. Next step mm -hmm. is put just a little bit of coke, just enough to help it simmer. Okay, you see how the suds are working themselves out. Next thing you do is gently prod the ice cream so that the coke is intermingled in with the ice cream and what you'll find is that the ice cream will start to dissolve and as it's dissolving it's going to come into this nice texture this sort of milkshake like texture and that's what you want but you don't want it too watery and that's a problem with people that make regular types of floats is it just becomes way too watery okay so now that I've got it halfway and I've got it to the consistency that I like. I'm gonna add more ice cream. And so now I'm gonna mix in the new ice cream with the old ice cream. And as it's getting thicker, that's when I would start adding in a little bit more And now, just mix in the coke really well. And now you can see that the, the consistency is thick, but it's still got some large chunks or portions of the ice cream that are visible. And as I continue to, to stir it, it's going to kind of become more and more of a watery texture. Now at this stage, it's about more than three quarters full. And now I'm just going to top it off with a final douse of Coke. And now this is ready. Now what will happen is you just replace the, the butter knife with uh, a spoon 
and this is ready for, to consume. Now you could gently prod the, uh, the, the ice cream with the butter knife just to get the final bit of coke mixed in, but that's optional. But now you can see once with, you've got the uh, little, you can get a little bit of a design in there, put in the spoon, and now this is ready for consuming. Well, here is the finished product. And as you can tell, the Coke is floating on top of the ice cream. Now, I, as you did see in my earlier uh, segment, that the ice cream was mixed in with the Coke below, so it's got a malt flavor. And I just put a dollop of ice cream on top and then some Coke. And as you can tell, it's extremely thick. This would be the slightly thicker consistency than a milkshake. So let's take a taste test and see what we can taste. Mmm. Wow. So what happens is the, the Coke sort of burrows itself inside the ice cream, makes it nice and smooth, nice and malty. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So very smooth. Now, a regular floats would have so much carbonated beverage as part of the ice cream, you could barely taste the ice cream. But in this case, the ice cream overwhelms the Coke. Mm. This is the best way to beat the Vancouver summer heat. I'll finish the rest off camera, but as you can tell, it's just simply delectable. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you try to make an HDH float. And please, let me know your results, or if you have any questions, just drop me a link below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time at Handy Dandy Husband.